what I've got here is a light bulb, a coil of wire, and some magnets. And you can probably guess that when I spin this wheel, the bulb will light up. Now for that to happen, there must be an electric current flowing through the bulb. And for that, there must be a complete circuit, which I've got. You can see the wire comes out of the bulb, goes around this coil, and goes back into the bulb. You also need a power supply, which I don't appear to have. You can see there's no battery here, or any connection to the mains. So what's driving the current? Well, it must have something to do with these magnets. When I spin the wheel, the magnets move past the coil, and that must somehow push the current through the circuit. And what's going on is that as each magnet moves past the coil, the magnetic field around the coil changes, and it's that which induces a voltage which drives a current through the circuit. We call this phenomenon electromagnetic induction, and it was first discovered by a chap called Michael Faraday. And he realised that you could generate electricity using just three things, some wire, a magnetic field, and relative movement between the two of them. So here's another question. Where's the energy that's powering this light bulb coming from? <laughs> it's clearly coming from me. And in a very real sense, the energy powering this light bulb comes from the bacon sandwich I enjoyed for breakfast. Now, if I want the light bulb to be brighter, I need to spin the wheel faster. You can see that the bulb is glowing brighter. And that's because I'm inducing a higher voltage. And I can get the same effect by increasing the strength of the magnets, or using more of them, or by using a coil of wire with more turns. The key things to remember about all this is that you can generate electricity by simply changing the magnetic field around a coil of wire. And you can increase the induced voltage by increasing the number of turns on the coil, by using stronger magnets, or by moving the magnets more quickly. What we've got here is a generator. Now, imagine you could take this and make it a lot bigger even bigger than this room I'm in. You'd have to replace me with something like a steam turbine and that bacon sandwich I had earlier with something like a coal-fired furnace or a nuclear reactor. Then what you'd have is a power station. 